as I was walking back with a shopping trolley, a runner ran past really fast and he clipped the wheels of the trolley and my shoulders and I fell into a hedge. I got up quick, came home. I was fine. On the Saturday, I was fine until the afternoon. Then I just got the shakes. I couldn't walk. I just trembled. I couldn't do anything. So when we use the term frailty in the healthcare setting, we're talking about loss of resilience. So it's a gradual process, it doesn't come on overnight. We can't deliver really good, proactive, preventative frailty services in Gloucestershire without every partner in the system being involved. Voluntary care, integrated community teams, community wellbeing services, GP practices, networks. The acute trust are very much involved, the homeward assessment team. Um, adult social care are pivotal in this and not one service can, or one team can do this in isolation. Now I can walk outside, I'm back in the kitchen cooking meals and I'm nearly back to normal. There is a real opportunity with further integration, it can only be for the good. For all patients, whether they have frailty or not, joined up care is, is what they want. And I know from working with colleagues there's real determination across the board. Um, to really make a difference to patient care. There's a real focus on proactive community-based care and we know for older people with frailty, if we can treat them at home, that's better. So it's really crucial that we are joined up to provide the best care and the pe best patient experience as well. 